All right, this is Suze Leventero. I just did a reading, and it ended up being like an energy reading. Okay, so I don't know how I'm going to label it, but Cancer popped up, Aries popped up, Earth sign, and uh, Pisces. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, I was doing pop-up readings, and I'm going to... Okay, so let's see what sign. Water. Okay, so let's do water real quick. Emotions. Okay, so the subject is emotions. Okay. All right, so let's start with cancer. Let me use these Halloween cards. Cancer. <clears throat> okay, so that's the earth energy showing up again. Okay. And king of pentacles. Okay, so this is, a, this must be on people's minds here. Okay, so this is really a general. So it's like people are worried about money. And that's in the physical reality and trying to find strength to persevere, right? To carry on and to get through some of this tough energy, okay? And the emotions, uh, trying to balance emotions so that this pinnacles could come in. That's the key, is like balancing your emotions and then the money can just flow in. That's the message. Getting a wheel on your emotions. Earth energy. That was showing up as earth energy, this thing here, in another card yesterday. Okay. Okay, so Pisces. So that was the other message. In the other reading was like the Neptune energy. Why do I keep saying Neptune when I mean... Um, yeah, Neptune energy. It's like, it's hidden. You're not seeing the, the progress, but it is progressing. So keep actively working and, and keep the faith, and then you'll see it, and you'll walk into the physical reality. This is tree pose, right? For some of you, that's a message. Tree pose may help. All right, so some of you want a uh, to have success in a uh, relationship. Okay. This is Cancer sign. Okay, let's see what comes up in these little witch cards. Yeah, see the chariot. There is going to be movement and progress. Okay, for some of you, there could have been a change of heart and then not knowing what direction to go in. That's what I'm getting. A change of heart and then not knowing what direction to go. Okay. Yeah, okay. The past or keep someone new. The past or someone new, right? This way, that way. All right, let's see what you do. Oops. I didn't even get to shuffle. Hold on a second. Okay. Where are you going, Cancer? Okay, so you got two King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles and King of Pentacles. Okay, so what I want to say is... Okay, could be a water sign or earth sign. And... What I'm getting with this is, or anyone abundant in the physical reality. And uh, prosperity has many different definitions, right, for different people. Okay, so um, I feel like if it's a woman, it's someone who's in their masculine energy. And I feel like that's how you would know. Okay. Okay.
Okay, so earth or water. Here's the word. This is a story about um, either a cancer who's been uh, something other than positive about matters, personal matters in the life. Okay. And this one's next. Okay. Now, this is sneaky and cheating and stuff like that, right? This card's uh, in terror. A lot of times people read it that way. Six of Swords. But I see this as a crab retreat in a cancer reading, right? It's like feeling sensitive and emotionally vulnerable. So needing to um, go to a different part of the ocean. Okay. Now, what's interesting here is these look like hermits. And there's two hermits in this card. I never noticed that. Hermit crab. Okay. Okay, let's keep going with whatever the story is trying to tell. Five of Cups reverse. Okay, so if there was an entanglement there in a love relationship, okay, that caused the waters to spill, the cups, loving cups to spill. That was an entanglement. Okay, then what? The Hierophant. Okay, so now this could represent finding balance and stability after that tough time. Okay, and I just did, I just got, uh, during, just now, um, when I did this, uh, the suggestion was to pull up the readings on this, and I just did a, vi a video with that, and it had Cancer's Pisces, Earth, and um, Gemini showed up. But anyway, so, and here is the Hierophant. So, I feel like you're going towards marriage with this person. That's what I feel like. Now, for some of you, you're going to um, go towards the one that feels most stable to you. That's what I feel like the message is here. You're going to go towards the one that feels most stable, that uh, is stabilizing, and the energy feels stabilizing to you when you interact with it. Okay. No more wild cards. And the wild card could have been you, right? And so if that's the case, then the story would be that they felt like they had to retreat um, because they wanted stability and felt like they couldn't get that with you. And it wasn't that they didn't love you. They do love you. And uh, so now what? Let's see what happens. If it's a Pisces, I know they forgive and forgive and forgive and forgive. <laughs> right? Okay, so Nine of Swords. And that probably caused a lot of pain. So, all right. And could have had you in your head. Okay. Now, for some of you, this isn't children. This is you focused on your job, your work, giving to uh, your energy to some greater picture. Okay. The world. Yeah, the world. Okay, so. Um, now, if you got mixed in with that Pluto, Plutonian energy, I feel like um, that, that woke you up. Okay. And and you're it's like you now you're on the high bar. Page of Cups. Yeah, this is where you step into a new reality here. Okay. I feel 
like for some of you, maybe you feel like you don't have as much creative inspiration as you did in your younger years. So that's calling for you to go back to the uh, canvas and uh, brainstorm. That's what I would suggest. Okay, so this wanted to come out. Ace of Swords, Speaking Clearly, Page of Cups. Speaking clearly and youthful is like forgiving, right? And releasing. Like each day is a new day. That came up in that yoga read. Okay. Like each day is a new day, forgiving, right? As a child would. And then speaking with clarity. Okay. And then that brings us right here to the Ten of Cups. Now this could be, if it's not a personal relationship, this is like loving the world again. Having faith in humanity and love for it. Okay. Ooh, and Ace of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. Look. Yeah, and this kind of forgiveness energy and love and you creating new ideas is going to bring the money in. Okay. So. You got three Aces here. Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, and, and Ten of Cups. Oh, that's a page of cups. Okay. Two aces and a page. Okay. So, okay, this could be like messages of creative ideas. So when they come, uh, don't knock it down. See, with your words. Don't knock it down with your words. Okay. Listen to it and maybe ponder on it. And maybe you can even add to it Ace of Pentacles. And then that'll bring in something very productive financially. So that's the message. It's dangerous, right? When you feel like you know it all. Okay. Because there is that element of spirit, right? Where spirit uh, does stuff behind the scenes to bring out manifestations. Okay. So I feel like who's in charge of the outcome is really spirit. Okay, so wheel of fortune. So trust that you have good luck. We create our own luck. Wheel of fortune. Woo! Queen of wands. And that's going to have you feeling passionate again. Okay. Bing. <laughs> that was like, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> okay. All right. So the revival of passion. I feel like that's the story here. The revival of passion. Okay. And um, your forever person for personal, uh, for if, it, if you were receiving it as a personal reading. Okay. In love. Thank you.